Okay, so differential form, the integral over C of F dot dr. So again, we're going to do notational gymnastics here. Um, we already know what dr represents. It's a vector. It's a collection of differentials. It's a vector collection of differentials. So one interpretation then of this notation would, would be to rewrite it as, well, if f is equal, has components p, q, r. Now, p, q, and r are understood to be functions of x, y, and z. So one interpretation notationally of the integral over the vector field, integral over c, f dot dr, is you could take f and replace it with the pqr. Those are the components of the vector field. You could replace dr with its vector form, component form, dx, dy, dz. And then see where the notation leads you. That's what, you know, whoever invented this notation, that's what they did. So you could rewrite this as, okay, if you could take that dot product, what would it look like? PDX plus QDY plus RDZ. So think of it as taking the dot product, P times DX, Q times DY, R times DZ, adding them together. Now, we know it's not actually that simple, but we like this notation, this integration notation that Leibniz invented because the, the differentials act algebraically in this notation. So this notation actually works if we agree that, well, the differential form, integral over C, PDX plus QDY plus RDZ, is short for integral over C PDX plus integral over C QDY plus integral over C RDZ. And then that's number one. And then number two, the functions have to be well behaved enough that the usual calculus one change of variables applies. And thus the differential form integral over C PDX plus QDY plus RDZ equals, as we just said in number one, uh, the integral over C PDX plus integral QDY plus integral RDZ. And then if you make the substitution, we're just saying in the next equality, if you put everything in terms of T, then um, you get the integral from A to B, those individual integrals become the integral from A to B, P in terms of T, that's what P of R of T means, little r of T, uh, X prime of T dt, X prime of T dt is DX, and then you add that to uh, the integral from a to b, that's t equals a to t equals b, of q in terms of t times y prime of t dt. y prime of t dt is just dy. And then add that to the integral from a to b, uppercase r from the vector field, um, evaluated at r of t, that's just saying r in terms of t, uppercase r in terms of t, z prime of t dt. z prime of t dt is just dz. And then if you add those three integrals together, re-add them, recombine them into a single integral, using the usual sum rule, it all falls out. You get the integral from A to B of P in terms of T, X prime of T, plus Q in terms of T, Y prime of T, plus uppercase R in terms of T, Z prime of T, all of that DT, put all that in brackets and then DT on the end. So that's a, a, an integral in terms of T, a, a calculus one type integral in terms of T. But if you look at it closely, if you look at that integrand, it's actually f dotted with r prime, everything in terms of t. And, and that's what we were trying to show, to show that the differential form is, in fact, equal to the integral over c of f dot dr. And in the next example, I'll show you how to set up and evaluate an integral in differential form.